Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare a few dishes and a cocktail made with the now-in-season blood oranges. And we visit the upcoming cookie table and cocktails event. But first, I get my lips smacked. Well, joining me in the kitchen today, we are not going to be cooking food. We are going to be making lipsticks. Isn't that cool? This is Carissa Sava, and she is a certified esthetician, makeup artist, and she has Smack, her own lipstick line. How cool is that? And we were talking um, off camera, and you really do a lot of makeup. Yes. I mean, that's where this all started. You started yep. for bridal parties and movies and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I actually was doing makeup for like three or four years. Um, once I started doing my brides, I would mix and match whatever I had in my box, put a color on them, they wanted to know where to find it. Well, I mixed a couple together. So after a couple of years, I realized I needed to do my own thing to give them exactly what they want. So that's how it started. What kind of materials do you need to make lipstick? Um, well, I love lipstick. Yes. I think lipstick <laughs> is Who like, doesn't? it just perks up your face. It does. Without lipstick, everyone's like, boy, you look really tired. It completes the final look. It yeah. really does. And when you're depressed and not having a good day, you go to the drugstore, you go to the department store, and you're like, oh, lipstick will change <laughs> you change my You feel great. Life. Yeah, you feel right? great. So what kind of materials do you have to get you know, to get the right consistency and long last and stuff. Yeah, um, I actually went and got certified at a company based out of Chicago, um, and I basically pick the different, um, like, pure plant-based waxes. So there's a cream base, a matte base, um, you could do lip gloss, there's a couple different types of gloss bases, um, and all the pigments and all the frosts and foils and everything that goes into it. So I buy through a company that I... Yes. Um, got certified through, and then they send me everything, and then I kind the of mix and match from and there. The pigments everything. Yes, the frost, the, the scents, everything. Is this a custom yes, uh, lipstick yes. that you're the wearing? Yes, The color I'm what wearing is, is actually called Fireball, and you can actually buy it at Deneen's in Girard. Okay. And then, um, actually, at the end of this week, I will be dropping it off at 850 Blues and Boardman, so it's called Fireball. And then Marie, yeah. over at Hallmark has your things too yes, in the Hallmark uh, shops. Yes, Hallmark does. Marie came to me as a local vendor and I started yeah. selling there and now I'm in five Hallmark locations. That is awesome. Yeah. Now, what when you custom make a lipstick, mm -hmm. uh, you look at a person, what do you take into consideration? Like, let, we're gonna custom make one for Yeah, me. yeah. And it'll be fabulous, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, and you look at what, coloring? Um, yeah, undertone. I like to see basically what you're wearing because that you came in with that on, so you know what you like. So I like to look yeah. at, you know, black as a cool tone. You know, I like to look at what you have on and try and pair it with that, with your skin tone, your eye color, just everything like I've that. I've been told I'm warm. Yeah. My skin tone. Yeah. I've, I've got yellow. I would say A lot say so. of yellow there. <laughs> so we're going to start with a cream base. Um, I'm going to take the pot and start mixing it up. Now, do you agree with uh, lip liners? I love them. Okay. I think they make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start small, that way we can keep playing with it. All We're right. just gonna measure it out. This is right. awesome. You are, you are really great. We're gonna start and just mix the three together. Just kind of see what we're working with as of right now. Okay. You know, it's it's coming a little nudie. Okay. I think, what do you think? I think a little more wine berry? Yes. Needs a little some. I think it needs a little zhuzh. Yeah. I'm thinking I am going to do, <laughs> <laughs> I think I am going so to add a little more of the wine and the brown, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of the gold okay. or sandy toned 
That's Frost. Good. Okay. And just give it more. It's going to counteract and give it a little bit of something. It's going to give it a little more balance. I as think. long as it's not glittery looking. Okay. Yeah. Not. Okay. Also, the fun part, flavor, scent. What are you thinking? Do you like that minty, um, cinnamon? We have. Co I am a coconut freak. Okay. I love coconut. I love the way it smells. I love, I buy coconut yeah, butter. Yeah, smell it just to like, it is just the essence oh, of going into it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, uh-huh, yeah, that's it. And it will stay on. Wow. That is, I, I am fascinated by this whole process. It's really cool. Right there, you go, Tiger. Tiger, that <laughs> is my mom's nickname for me when I was a little girl. So I went with Tiger. So the logo, I think Smack is a very clever name for your Thank lipstick you. line. Yes. And this are your lips. Yes, I worked with a graphic designer. A lot, a lot of evenings we spent together and we kissed a bunch of pieces of paper. <laughs> we found the name Smack. We thought it would be cool to put yeah. my name in it. Make that. What is the best way to get in touch with you? You can call me. Um, okay. You can go to and my then, website. You can go to my Instagram. You can email we'll me. We'll put it right yes. there um, uh, in graphics. I always have my phone on me, so you can do anything and I get my email, everything on there. So. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery, and you know they have a huge beer selection, but you have really upped your wine and, of course, your entree selection. Yes, we did. We added about 30 new bottles of wine, um, also supporting some of our local wineries here. Uh, wine on tap with Will and & Cellars and Hubbard. And then here we have, this is on our menu daily, our cedar plank salmon with our house-made uh, blueberry salsa and vanilla porter barbecue sauce. And that is just one of the many entrees that you can choose if you have your party over in the Wine & Spirits room. You can really select your menu, beer, wine, everything you want. Yes, we customize your party to however you like it. Uh, we're actually starting to get booked up for graduations and weddings already for next year. Uh, this whole month's booked up and uh, it's a good place. Seats up to 150 and it's a good place to have a party. That's right. Celebrate at the Magic Tree Pub and Deedery. Cheers! Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilhelm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilhelm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilhelm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros.
Well, today my husband Ken is going to join me in the kitchen. I'm here. And here this to help. is going to be a really good segment. We're going to make a main dish, a salad, and a cocktail. And the main ingredient, one of my favorite the things. The blood orange. Blood oranges. You got the post-holiday funk going on. You feel like, ugh, winter doldrums are setting in. And then in the grocery store, here comes a little beacon of light. It's beautiful. So we are going to start with a chicken dish. Okay. Then a salad and then get ready for my cocktail. So let's get going with some blood oranges. Sounds great. For this recipe, you'll need the juice of five blood oranges, four skinless boneless chicken breasts. You'll need one tablespoon of butter, one onion minced, five cloves of garlic minced, three quarters cup chicken stock, one quarter cup dry white wine, a teaspoon of chopped parsley, and one tablespoon of honey. I started the recipe last night. I took the four chicken breasts and I marinated them in the juice of two blood oranges. It really tenderizes them and gives them a really nice tangy flavor. So now I've salted and peppered them on both sides and I'm going to brown them and some extra virgin olive oil. It'll be about four or five minutes per side. So let's add them to the hot oil. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, about five minutes per side on browning the chicken. And this is done nicely. All right, so let's turn this off. What I'm going to do is just transfer these to a platter. And this skillet, I am going to melt the butter. So now I'll add the onion and the garlic. You're going to love this dish. It is so easy. It cooks on the stovetop. Not that difficult. Well, the onions are nice and translucent. The garlic is gold. And now we're going to add this is the juice of three blood oranges. Oh, look, a great color. We're going to add the white wine and the chicken stock and the parsley. All right, so we are going to bring this up to a boil. So now I'm going to put the chicken breast back in and let them absorb all this great flavor and then I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to lower the heat to low to let it simmer and I'm going to cook this about 15 minutes more and then halfway through I'll turn them and then we'll be done. While we're waiting for the chicken to uh, finish cooking I will make one of my favorite salads. It's spinach and arugula and then I use a, a blood orange dressing. So what I've done is I've washed and torn up some baby arugula and some baby spinach. And I'll just layer this with some sliced, pretty thin red onion. I took a Moro blood orange, peeled it, and I am just going to uh, put the segments and scatter them along the top. And then I have about a quarter of a cup of feta cheese that I've crumbled. We'll put that on top. And last but not least, some unsalted sunflower seeds. So now we'll make the dressing. The salad dressing is super easy. Half cup extra virgin olive oil. Half cup of my favorite, the blood orange juice. We'll add that and then a small shallot chopped fine, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then one tablespoon of sherry vinegar. Love that stuff. And then a little salt and a little pepper. All right, so now I will whisk this together. And this makes quite a bit. So you could uh, put it in a jar or a container and it'll keep for a week or two in your refrigerator because you're not going to use that much on this. But look at that beautiful color, beautiful flavor. And uh, we will drizzle this 
over it right before we serve it. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Ooh, and this chicken is ready. It is beautiful. Here is our last and final step. I am going to remove these and we're gonna use these pan juices. So to thicken it a bit, I'm gonna turn this up. There we go, back to high. And I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of honey. We'll let that dissolve. Give it a couple minutes, cook it down. It'll be, just have a little more body. And then we'll pour some of it over our chicken before we serve it. So the salad's prepared. We've got the chicken ready to go. And the last <laughs> part of this puzzle. Yes, let's have a drink. It's a cocktail. Sure. Ken, I gotta thank you because as you can see, he looks like he's been a butcher most of the day. But he's got they all are juicy. the uh, blood orange juice from juicing these uh, all day for me. And from cutting the onions and everything else. Exactly. Now this is a recipe I think you're gonna love. This cocktail, I have uh, named it myself. It's called My Bloody Valentine How Martini. Creative. Okay. This is enough for two. So are you ready? We have some I'm ready. ice in the shaker. All right, Ken, Chilled I'm glasses. going to need a half a cup of fresh squeezed and there it orange is. juice. That's okay. going in the shaker. Then I'm going to need four teaspoons of this Saint Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur. All right, so then I'm going to need uh, two teaspoons of fresh lime juice. There you go. I'm going to need one half cup of vodka, whatever kind you like. And I'll tell you, this measuring is really, really nice. This measuring cup I bought you to make sure that we have <laughs> the exact I was pouring a little heavy there for a while, yes. and then a little too light, a little too heavy, and a little too light. And then a little splash, about an eighth little of bit. a cup. Just a splash of okay. salsa. Got it. All right, so then we'll shake them all up. We chilled these really nicely before. Look at the beautiful color. Very nice. Don't be stingy. I'm Thank a stick you here. for being my sous chef today. It was hard work. I know. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's a good sipping cocktail. Delicious. Really, you're going to fall in love with the blood oranges. Just go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. You'll have the My Bloody Valentine martini recipe, the arugula salad with the dressing, and the chicken dish. It's all right there. You are going to learn to love winter when we get the citrus in stock. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. The Penguins never miss the Casey Malone Show. The 42nd Annual Mahoning Valley St. Patrick's Day Parade is Sunday, March 15th. Enter your group, organization, or marching band at mvstpatrickparade.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone and receive 50% off. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here 
at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room. And over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now. So come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. When you walk into Kamara Jewelers now, it's a completely different look. But it's also the same comfortable feeling that you get when you come in. There's more beautiful jewelry, more different designers to show you. You could really see how much we love our job and the, everything that we're able to offer to our customers. So come to Kamara Jewelers, still the same people, same family ethics, 70 years, just a brand new look. You won't be disappointed. Get real, get Kamara. Well, one of the biggest fundraisers for the Mahoning Valley Historical Society is the Cookie Tables and Cocktail event. And Frank is on the board, Frank Ruley, and this was one of the board's ideas as the major fundraiser. That's right. We've been talking about doing a fundraiser for a long time. Several years ago, we finally decided to settle on the cookie table. And it, it really is unique to Youngstown, isn't it, the cookie table concept? Yeah, we've actually done some research and the cookie table is popular in a very small region. Basically, it's Youngstown, a little bit of Western Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh. And how important is this fundraiser for the Historical Society? Oh, you know what? It's really important. When I first joined the board, we did very little fundraising outside of private campaigns. So this is the first major public uh, fundraiser that we've begun hosting. So it's really important. I mean, and it's really well attended. You've already outgrown the Tyler his, uh, Center. Yes. So yes. this year you had to come to Mount Carmel. Can it get any bigger? Do you have trouble getting bakers? Actually, we had to turn people away this year, both guests and bakers. So it's really grown exponentially. And uh, we are very excited to be at Our Lady of Mount Carmel. One of the reasons we chose the cookie table is because it's a great Youngstown tradition, the history tie-in. and. What better place than our Lady of Mount Carmel? I know. Well, you remember Leanne Ridge. She is the external relations director for the Historical Society. And this event is off the hook. I mean, we're here in the cookie room that you don't have access to until a certain time of night. How do you plan on topping this? <laughs> well, every year we seem to get more and more interest, more and more bakers, more and more people that like to come, that want to come. We've been selling out earlier and earlier. So, you know, the more cookies we have, the more epic the table, you know, is, the cookie table. And it's just everyone loves the event. Mo is actually a cookie bouncer because the people are so aggressive about wanting to attack these cookies. Yes, it, uh, I was here last year and uh, grandmas, usually around the age of 85 to 80, they'll come in here with their purses and just start scooping them in. We have to say, hey, none of that here. Well, I'm not gonna tell everybody, but I was one of the judges, many judges yesterday that helped judge the cookie winners. And Tracy Manning organized I don't even know. How many cookies did you receive? We had almost 9,000 cookies oh this year. Um, we had 91 individual cookie bakers that were each baking anywhere from 8 to even 24 dozen cookies. And yeah, it's a lot. It's I mean, lot you it was overwhelming yesterday when you had them all laid out and you're like, please, you know, cut them into quarters or halves yes. because there is so much sugar. And you have to do the judging that way, because yes. if you were to do people's choice, you would never get home. Way. Yeah, I mean, each baker would also have to make 350 cookies, so there's no way we can do that. So we invite a lot of community you know, members, community leaders, yes. you know, friends, let's be honest, uh, to come out and judge these cookies. And it's such a, it's a, it's a tough job. It seems like it's it, really fun. No, it's difficult. it is. I mean, they're really, and there's so many nuances. Yes. You might get a million snowballs. Yes. But then some people have a different way of making them. And I mean, it really, yeah. that was a tough job you it had. It is, yeah. And we know it's really just for fun. You know, it's not a, it's not a monetary prize that they're yes. getting or anything. Yeah, it's exactly. really just for fun. But our judges take it just as seriously as the bakers do. So, so it's fantastic. Do you want to tell me your favorite cookie? Okay, so I, I'm not supposed to, but I'm going to. Um, Janice Ferry was actually our oldest baker at this event, and she made the greatest baklava I've ever had in my life. Bill Lawson is the executive director for the Mahoning Valley Historical Society, and I'll tell you, this event has really grown. 
It sure has. Well, it was popular from the beginning, uh, but a couple years we've had over 300 people at the Tyler History Center. We just can't do that anymore. So we decided to come here to Our Lady of Mount Carmel's social hall, and we filled it up again. So it's like a vacuum. And do you think this really increases awareness for what you're doing at Tyler and the Arms and all the other, you know, spaces with our history? Oh, we certainly hope so because among the things we do in celebrating the history of the people of the Mahoning Valley is, is talk about the customs and the culture that we have here. And what better way than to have a cookie table <laughs> and a buffet and uh, lots of people, uh, Del Sinchek and his polka band. <laughs> This is what it's all about. This you are hitting all of the right sweet spots. Yes. And did you bake any cookies tonight? No, I just uh, judged in the contest and I'll eat them later. And what what is your favorite kind of cookie? I mean, you don't have to tell me which is the winner, but you know, uh, what, what do you prefer? More of a bake, a cookie, uh, like, you know, a um, cake cookie or cutout? What, what is your preference? Well, I'm kind of, traditional I like chocolate chip cookies but when I come to weddings boy it's the clothespin cookies the caramel cups mm. cookie table and cocktails is being held leap day February 29th tickets are available at mahoninghistory.org the Casey Malone show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation